Grace are dead. Oh, Grace are done. She's such a beautiful girl. Grace. Oh. Oh. oh, you're silly. Yeah. Oh, Fergie, Fergie. Oh, goodness. Big scratches. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody is as rip roaring to go as Gracie is today. Because look at this yard. It is out of control. Welcome to my channel, everyone. This is Friends of the Feather. And if you're interested in what's going on here, you can uh, go down in that little description box below. And I have conveniently left a little message about what we're doing and who we are. I don't want to slip and slide today. It has rained and rained and rained. And then it rained some more. And then it rained some more. So the ground is absolutely saturated. My grass, I'm thinking jungle. Sure. Yeah. Let's just jungle it. It'll be one of those habitats for the for the animals. Speaking of habitats for the animals, <clears throat> we were sitting on our porch last evening, not doing videos, as you noticed, and uh, a skunk, a skunky skunk, a little black skunk. It was black with one big dot on white dot on its head. Came cruising around here and was scurrying along here. I think these piles of grain are drawing in the critters. And I was worried because I have smelled skunk a couple times being over here, like in this area. So I'm thinking that the skunks are getting drawn in by the, uh, the, the refuse that I'm putting out for the chickens. And then after the skunk went away, because it scurried off like over into the woods, like over this way. Stop. It went from here and like scurried over this way. And then <clears throat> probably about an hour after that, the deer came out and came over here and started eating off of this cracked corn that's on the ground. So... It's like uh, Mutual of Umaha's Wild Kingdom out here. We've got uh, all of our friends coming to visit. However, skunks are not my friends. We've already assessed that skunks are not friends. And um, they like eggs. They like baby chickens. They do not like bigger chickens, but they do like baby chickens. And if you will look over here, friends, right over here by this little tree, we have a squirrel. There's a little squirrel right there. I don't know if you can see him or not. But he's there. He's bumbling about. So we've got all kinds of stuff going on down here. I had a sparrow stuck in my shed yesterday. <laughs> I came down. I, I noticed that they've been flying in and out of here. Because I leave this door open through the day to let it air out a little bit. And to um, give the quails some sun. <clears throat> And I noticed that birds, especially this bright red cardinal, were zooming in and out of here. And I assumed it was because of all the, you know, this down here. All the bird seed and grass and everything that's in here. So I, uh, I figured that that's what they were coming in here for. And so I came down here yesterday to check for eggs. And one of them got confused and started flittering around up in here. And then got stuck in this window up here and was smashing its head against this little, this broken window. I was like, there's a hundred ways to get out of here, brother. If you can't figure it out, then I guess you're stuck. So let's look and see how the, how the buttons are doing. We've got mean Mr. Mustard up here. Sorry, you're in solitary, bro. We don't beat up on our friends. We still have water. Put some grass in here for him yesterday. Hello, peeking its little head out. Hello, baby buttons. Are your backs getting better? I hope so. I mean, Mr. Mustard's out of there, so... Should be alright. Squeak, 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 squeak. Ooh. His wings are looking a little rough. His back end. See the brown back there? That's, that's skin. That is exposed quail skin. It's not what we want. So yeah, 
doesn't look like they're losing any more feathers, but they're uh, a little white, the little mean Mr. Mustard's cohort there, the other little yellow one. See, it looks pretty good. Hmm. Gracious sakes. They said, don't forget about me. Chicken's over here. Let's see if we have any eggs. I don't know what they did with my other faker egg that I had over. Oh, there it is. Oh, and it has an egg beside it. Look at that. I get to play Twister and get under there and get the egg. How fun. Nope, that's a faker. That's a faker. Faker, faker, Studebaker. That's a faker. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh! <clears throat> but I, I'm not surprised that today is a slow egg day because yesterday we got nine eggs, you guys. Nine eggs. That means all but three chicks in here laid eggs yesterday. Good job, girls. Good job. Falky, Balky. Hi, girl. How you doing? How you doing, big girl? Did you come over to get some pets? She's like, nope, not really, but I guess you're going to. Falky Balky. Are you going to lay another egg today, girl? She was in a panic yesterday. I came down here to check on eggs again. I think it may have been when the sparrow was stuck. And she, like, was panting and, like, hopping back and forth between these three nests. And she would nest down for a little bit and then and pant and pant and pant and pant. And then she'd get up and move to a different one. I thought I was thinking that maybe these nesting boxes aren't big enough for a condor like her. We need some plus size nesting boxes, don't we, girl? To accommodate our bigger ladies. Hey, that's okay. I was a bigger lady. I get it. Big girls need love too. They deserve spaces, places to be. Why do you guys do this to me? Why do you do this? You know I have a hard time getting over there. I think they do it to laugh at me. I think it's their, their, cause see, look at this. This wall is really gross and it's just really, really gross. And so are these. So, and so is the floor. There's no way to get over there without it just being really gross. <clears throat> so again, we'll thank the design firm, which is my brain that came up with this little, this little idea. But, uh, you know, limited space. So let's try carefully, carefully now. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, you. I'm going to break an egg. You guys are going to see it happen. Oh, that's just not going to work. I need one of those little gophers. You guys remember the gophers? Those little, like, like clampy claw things that you could have that got, that, like, um, when people have surgeries and they're not able to, like, get around and do things, they get those little clampy things that do this, you know, it's got the little grippers on it and it grabs things. That's what I need. <laughs> I need one of those. If anyone could Amazon me one of those here and I could get it in, like, five minutes, that would be Mondo Cuello. Oh, my God, you guys, it's so nasty under here, for the love of goodness. I think this... Uh, yeah, that is Fifi. This is Fifi, and Fifi is a starlight green egger, because I have been... Oh, God, look at those feet. Ugh. 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 You guys are gross. Don't you get above me and poop on my head, chicken. We will have words, and they will not be nice words either. They will not be nice. Chicon. Peacon, chicon. All right. Come on, Fal Falco, bring me that egg, would you? Falky Balky, we're best friends. You know we are. My condor -ess. Okay, fine. Enough of this piddle farting around. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, 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 there it is. Ha ha. Oh, man, it's warm, too. Oh, God. <coughs> it stinks so bad. Oh, God, I need to get some more mulch. We got a mulch again, girl. She says, you know we do. It is really gross in here. This is what you're forcing me to be a part of, she says. <laughs> what a look. What a look. Okay, so, egg acquired without breakage. 
oh my god, it just amazes me how warm they are. That's a fresh egg, friends. I mean, it feels like it's been under a heat lamp. You guys actually, you're, get, you're getting your stuff from McDonald's, aren't you? You're sitting it under the heat lamps for a while. Wow, okay, that was an adventure. Always is. All right, one of question mark for today. Could be one of, could be one of three, could be one of five. Oh yeah, I brought them some treats. See, I had zucchinis and squashes and tomatoes last night, so I uh, brought them some treats. Let's go give them that real quick so I can have my egg basket back. Because a good egg basket is, uh, is something to behold. So yesterday, I put this piece of wood up, uh, like against the, oh, here they come. Look at this, guys. Jeez, and I don't have very much. Oh, no, I feel bad. Look at them. They're like, what do you got, lady? What do you got? I need like a little, like, like a chute that I can open and put in here. Look at their poo. Look at that big glob of green poo. I've been noticing that. I looked that up, and that's because they're, they've been eating lots of grass. That's the reason that their poo is green. So, because that concerned me a bit, because it is quite alien in nature, isn't it? Look at how green that is. Ew. L. Gross chickens. Okay, now this is the trick. See, so I took this piece of wood and I used it as like a little stopper against the, the door here so that they couldn't get out while I was uh, trying to get in there. I could step over it and they can't get over it. But as you see, that plan failed. Get back, girls. As you see, that plan failed. Oh, God, I have to touch it. Okay, get back, get back, get back, get back. Look at this. Look at this. They're animals. All right, movie Falky Balky. Oh, girls, come on. Come on. Okay, so I can put this right here. See how I did that? And they can't get... They can't get out when I open the door. Because they've been doing that. They're escape artists. Especially my henny pennies that are these guys the the solid yellow ones or orange i guess they are the escape artists they like to jump out okay so here we go girls there you are it's not much i do i do apologize for the lack of of things but tis the way it goes sometimes ladies they almost got a head of lettuce but it was uh it was still in pretty good shape so I didn't I didn't sacrifice it to the pecans but I was going to holy crap a moly guys 13 minutes look at this jeez louise man well I wish you could have seen that JG just did a funny little dance jumped up and went in a circle not kidding Doing the hokey pokey and turning himself about. He knows what it's all about. All right, I gotta feed these guys. Looks like their food empty. Their food em their food empties. Their foods are empty. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Oh my god, it smells like shit over here, really bad. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Okay, word of warning to anyone thinking about getting chickens. Make sure you have plenty of room between yourselves and the chickens. Goodness, you guys smell bad. See, I thought this would be plenty of room for this amount of chickens, but I'm starting to think it's not. I mean, they've decimated the grass, which is about the way every chicken run looks that I've seen. <clears throat> it's just nasty and gross and muddy, and I don't know. But anyway... All right, good Sunday to you all. Please, everyone, thank you to our 158 subscribers. If you have not done so yet, please subscribe. Our mission here is to get to 1,000 subscribers so that we can monetize and give these poor wayward chickens a larger place to be. Look at these poor favorels. They have to fight amongst themselves. They have no place to be. How, it wasn't, who was it? Was it uh, Suzanne Struthers? Or who was it that used to do those, uh, the commercials for for uh, abused dogs? Well, I know the ASPCA still runs them, but there was somebody, I, I can't remember, remember who it was, some lady that used to do 
like animal cruelty commercial or car the like uh, public service announcements yeah anyway have a good day you guys I'm gonna get off here I'm a nut and uh, I'll keep you all day all right everyone have a good one happy Sunday we may be back later I don't know I haven't been doing evening videos because we get busy and I don't I just lose track of time and then it's eight or nine o'clock and it's getting dark and I'm like oh well we'll get a morning video in so that's the reason for the no evening videos <clears throat> but I might do one tonight you never know depends on what happens today if nothing happens I usually don't do one so all right guys have a good evening or good day I hope the sun stays I really need to move my grass we'll see you later